Hi, third graders, and welcome back to another Richmond Math lesson. My name is Mrs. Yeager, and today we're doing day four of SOL 3.15. And our learning target today is I can create pictographs and bar graphs using gizmos. But first, let's have our joke. What kind of haircuts do bees get? Give up? Buzz cuts. How silly. The material you're going to need today are paper or the practice set and pencil. So last time that I was with you, um, you had to do uh, make a bar graph on your own of the survey made of favorite snacks. And so I named mine up here, favorite snacks. I had to label this so I have number of votes. And down here I wrote types of snacks. Then you see that because potato chips had 11, I had to have this first bar in between 10 and 12 to show 11 and then pretzels had four, and popcorn had five. So once again, I had to go in between the six and the four to make five for popcorn, and then tortilla tips had 10. Now, the first question that I was asked was which snack was liked the most? That's why gra bar graphs are great because that really helps me answer it and I would say potato chips. And then which snack was liked the least? And I could say pretzels. So that's great. So our learning target again is I can create pictographs and bar graphs using gizmos. And so here is some data and it says, the table and graph below show the results of the 2008 South Carolina Republican primary. And then I see all of these candidates' names on the side here, and then all of the numbers beside it. And now I see that same data, but in bar graph form. And look over here too, because we were only using ones, twos, fives, and tens for the scale. But look, they have 20,000, 40,000, 60,000, 80,000, and uh, so forth. So the question says, which display makes it easier to see who won, the table or the graph? So what would you choose? This? or this. I think I would choose the bar graph because it was much easier to see. So now I'm going to head on over to gizmos. Okay, here I am back at gizmos and I want to look at what they have for me. So the first thing is we're going to look at all of these students in the auditorium. That would be like people sitting in the chairs in the auditorium. And then I have up here, it says table. So if yours isn't on table, you can pull it down like that, but we're going to have that on table. And then the frequency table is here. That's going to tell us how they vote. Now you see down here, I said that um, we're going to have 20 votes. And what they're trying to vote on is the mascot for the school. Now I know that at Overby Shepherd, the mascot is the bee. At Swansboro, the mascot is the dolphin. At Red, the mascot is the lion. And at Ginner Park, the mascot is the gator. So think about, we're in a new school, what is our mascot gonna be? And we wanna vote on it. So down here at the bottom, I'm going to push vote. 
Ooh. And now let's look over at the table. I see that the eagle got four votes, the lion got nine, the bear got five, and the wolf got two. Now, some things that I can do is if I want to, let's say that I wanted everyone to be a lion, I could change, highlight this whole tab row here, and I could change all their votes to lions. Oh, look what happened to my table. Okay, um, so then I can choose, you'll be seeing on your sheets, it tells you to either choose one favorite, two favorites, three favorites. I also can change the number of votes from 20 all the way up to 100. And I can also change here to a pictograph. And down at the bottom, I see that each key is, each check, excuse me, is worth five votes, or I could change it to each one is worth one vote or two votes, okay? So um, then I can also change it to a bar graph, either vertical, like we've been working on, or horizontal. So the date is the same. Then if I want to, I can vote again, this time with 100 people, and oh my goodness. Look here at the scale. The scale is counting by fives, but what happens if I decided to count by 10? The graph only looks a little different, right? All right, so today you're just going to follow the directions on your practice set and have fun making different kinds of graphs on Gizmo. Bye.